Hey beautiful people, how are you? My name is Connor. And I'm Brittany. Today we're talking about changing dynamics in relationships. relationships. <laughs> Our membership site is growing and we want you to be a part of it. We have over a hundred videos, so many exercises, tons of ways for you to learn, grow, heal, and inspire with us. Come on over and see what it's all about. It happens. <laughs> it totally happens. I think it's a good thing. I do too. When it happens. And I think it probably is a tough thing when we're resisting it and when we have like really kind of rigid ideas about what our relationships are supposed to be looking like and they're starting to change and we're like, no. That's scary. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think that is what leads us often to creating these secret worlds that we end up not sharing with our partners or denying you know, these things that are coming up for us or coming up between our relationship and suppressing them. So you're either, you know, living in this state where you're like, you have all this chaos happening inside of you and you're not sharing it or you're taking all of that stuff and you're suppressing it down and then you become kind of like passionless and, and suppressed. And both things are really tough places to live from. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it's really possible to change and grow alongside a partner or partners in any relationship dynamic. And also I think that, yeah, I mean, I mean, one of the reasons I'm excited to make this video is because I feel like our relationship dynamic has been changing mm -hmm. and I feel like it's really positive and it's been like, we've been growing closer through it and yeah. growing through it. And it's scary too. Like it can bring up fear because there's this unknown. And my experience in the past with other relationships that felt more stagnant. And for me, that was like monogamy, but it, I don't, don't think that has to be the case at all. Totally. Just is the way that it was for me. I did feel stifled and I didn't feel like I could grow and become more of what I wanted in all these ways. Mm -hmm. And that, like you said, led to like suppression. Yeah. And on the other side, I feel like you and I lately have been <laughs> just like moving through the fear and talking about it and opening up and ultimately welcoming more of what we both want and yeah and really being open to things looking different than they have in the past for us yeah um it brings up this concept of flexibility versus rigidity and uh this is talked a lot about in um, interpersonal neurobiology um uh, a, a field of study by dan siegel and you know talking about how the brain can't grow and it can't cope when it's in a rigid fixed state right and i think that that's that's what we're talking about in relationships you know like the more flexible and like with the flow we can be when these challenges come in the form of change in the form of growth in the form of like life i mean life is ever unfolding ever changing ever blossoming it's like going through all these different phases and seasons and tides when we can be flexible then we get to experience it and when we're rigid that's that's when we stop growing i think yeah um so yeah i do feel like in our relationship like recently we have been evolving and things have been growing and things have been shifting in ways that i could not have foreseen say a year ago yeah <clears throat> and there are parts of me that can't help but be in a somewhat rigid state about what i had envisioned for myself and for us and for you know, our relationship. Um, but to have that awareness that like, that's that rigidity isn't really serving me. And the more that I can work on sort of uncovering what it is that's keeping me maybe in that rigid state, in that stuck state and letting that stuff go so that I can open up and be a little more fluid and dynamic and flexible. Yeah. Uh, that's been, that's been the most helpful for me in growth promoting and ultimately healthy. Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like a part of me has this desire to share some sort of camaraderie and say if you are experiencing growth or wanting to experience growth within yourself or in your relationships and like you're feeling any fear around it, I feel like I can really understand that space. Yeah. And in my life I've noticed like there's some things that bring up like fear and excitement simultaneously and usually like I can have a gut sense of what feels right for me to follow. And that's the same for me, like in my relationship with myself and how it affects the relationships around me and, and also those relationships specifically. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and that camaraderie aspect, you know, like we're, we're always in this 
very intentionally, but like we're, we're sort of always setting ourselves up with challenges for our relationship because we tend to, we just notice how beneficial they, they tend to be. That's right. And I really do feel like we are just growing closer. Like every time that we take these big leaps, yeah. it brings us close, closer ultimately. And I think a big part of that is because we're closer to ourselves. And mm. I feel like we just are always creating more space to love each other and support each other. Yeah. And throughout it, I feel like we do have this joint goal of like, let's like keep doing this. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't have to look like anything in particular. Yeah. That's really it. Okay. Cool. Thanks for your questions. If you have more questions, you can post down below. And...